So I've gotten a bunch of emails asking why the Guardians are so bad at rundowns. And so I want to take a look at this play right here. It's game three, Guardians-Yankees. We've got the ninth inning. Yankees are up by one. Volpe's on first. Nobody out. Verdugo's at the plate. He's going to hit this rocket right here to Jimenez at second base. Volpe's stealing on the play. So Volpe's going to run. Ball's going to be hit hard. Jimenez is going to field it. He's going to turn and throw to third because Volpe rounded second and just went to third. We got a run down here, but right there is a little collision, and you can see the ball pops out of Ramirez's glove. So not a very well-executed rundown. Great play by Jimenez to field that ball and throw it all the way to third, but then a really poorly executed rundown. Let's go step-by-step step. what they did incorrectly, what they should have done. Let's break it all down. Okay, so we'll start the play over here. Again, you're going to see Volpe steal. Balls hit really hard. Now, this is, first off, this is a, a really sick play right here. He fields the ball. So he fields it to the forehand side. He spins, and he locates the runner. Now, he knows that he's not going to get the runner out at second because he's running. But he still takes a peek right here, and he sees that Volpe is just turning it and going the third. So I'm assuming that Volpe thought that the ball was either one maybe going to squeak by him, or two, that he would never field it, spin glove side, and even look at him. I think he just figured he'd field that ball, throw to first, and Volpe with his speed would be able to go first to third on a ground ball to the infield. But Jimenez makes a great play. Again, he spins. Volpe's already decided he's going. You can see the third base coach is throwing up the stop right there. Ball still in the infield, but Volpe never even looked at him. He's going to turn now. So now he's going to make this long throw. So he makes this long throw all the way across. Now, Ramirez gets him. So here's the beginning of the rundown. So here are the steps really quickly. First thing is you got to pick a lane. So you either go inside or you go outside. In this case right here, you're probably going to just step inside. Once you do that, your partner is going to also step inside. Now, Ramirez should sprint at him. He should take the ball out of his glove, and he should sprint. You've got to get him to commit. And what commit means is that you can't just have him running sideways. He needs to turn, sprint, and show his numbers to you. Now, while that's happening, this guy right here should be what we call closing the gap. So we don't want to make this rundown basically 90 feet. We want to make it as short as possible, especially in this situation, because what the batter runner is going to do is he's going to try to get the second base. So you can see the first base coach right here. Watch the first base coach. He almost like goes on the field. He's screaming, go to second, go to second, go to second, go to second. The umpire actually comes over here and grabs him and tries to get him off the field. And the reason you're doing that is because now Volpe's job is to basically try to stay in the rundown as long as he can so that we can get him the second. And then we're just pretty much at the exact same spot that we would have been if Volpe had just stopped at second and Jimenez threw him out at first base. We would have had a runner at second base with one out. That's what the Yankees are trying to get back to right here. So, again, back up for a second here. So Ramirez has the ball right here. So we want to close the gap. It should really just be we run him hard. So we pick a lane. We run him hard. This guy right here closes the gap. Then he'll catch it with momentum and make the tag right here. And the rundown's over. That's it. But they don't do that. So he stays here, doesn't get any momentum, doesn't close the gap. Ramirez throws the ball. Right. So that's given up way too early. But again, you can't just put it on Ramirez because he's still standing on the bag. He should have closed the gap. He should have caught it with momentum. So Ramirez throws the ball. Now we got a catch, and now we're going to run back. Now, typically, you're going to follow your throw. So if Ramirez had run at him and thrown the ball, he would stay on the inside. He would have followed his throw and gone here. Now, there are certain plays, and I don't want to get too crazy here, but there are certain plays where if we catch a ball like this right away, let's say he caught the ball right here, and let's say that Volpe, instead of being right here, let's say he was, like, right there. And so... Ramirez caught the ball and just had to fire it here as fast as he could, and he's right next to the bag. Sometimes what you'll do is it's called anchoring. You'll just anchor to the bag, so you'll stay there. You won't follow your throw. But in this case where he starts to run like this, I think he should have thrown the ball and then vacated and gone to the next base. And again, we've already talked about why he should have ran him further and all that stuff. But he doesn't. So now he stays there. Well, now the ball can't get back to him in time, so we catch the ball here. By the time we get him going, like now it gets really congested. Volpe's like almost on top of him. And then instead of being able to catch it with momentum, he has to start to backtrack towards third base 
So now he's running back. We have both guys running towards the bag. And now it's just an absolute cluster, you know what, and the ball is dropped. And so now we've got safe at third, we've got safe at second, and it's a disaster. So not a well-executed rundown by the Guardians. I've now seen this a couple of times where their rundown technique is really just not very good. There was a rundown a few nights ago. It might have, what game was it? I can't remember what game it was. It might have been this game. Was it the game before? I don't remember. Where they were just throwing the ball back and forth, back and forth. And there was no, like, simple fundamentals of rundown. And they did end up getting the runner out. I think it was the Rizzo one. That's the one it was. It was the Rizzo one. They got him out, but it was, like, really sloppy. So I'm not sure why that is. I just know I've seen it a bunch of times. Hopefully this helps you out. And we've got a bunch of rundown videos on YouTube. I don't know. Maybe the Guardians should watch them. Anyways, that's all we got. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Give a thumbs up. All that good stuff. And we'll talk to you later.